Hello, how's everybody's morning going? Welcome back to another Rubens Retro Reviews. Now today, we are going to be reviewing a very not well-known game. There's nothing about it on the internet. There's barely anything about it on the internet. Not even a Wikipedia page on it. That's how unwell-known it is. Is it going to be bad or is it going to be a hidden gem? Well, find out. The game is World War II Tank Battles on the PS2. Now, I said we could, I said I'm going to review this one when I did Ski Mix, the first video on the channel. Now, this is what I promised, is the game. Let's, let's do it. It was released in Europe only. Europe only, on the a April 26th, 2006 by Midas Entertainment. Now the GameSpot rating is a two and a half out of five stars. Its difficulty is three out of five and it takes eight hours to complete the campaign mode. Which is a long life, which is a long time I think. Uh, eight, eight hours though for a game that's just, 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 just all right. On a blue disc, I got a disc. It's blue. These ones don't hold as much as the as the as the as the normal discs that look like the normal ones. They don't hold as much. So eight eight hours to squeeze out of a blue disc. They gotta be pretty ingenious to do that. Now let's take a look at the box. Now let's take a look at the box art. Now you see, the box art has the standard PS2 banner. It's rated Peggy 12, um, and you've got a very nice, what seems to be German tank coming over, coming over a log. Uh, we've got a Tiger tank up there and a Cromwell over there. World War II tank battles. Of course, they need the title. And, the, and there's not much colour on it. It's just pretty bland. Spine's all the same, but the back. It's got some screenshots from the game. Yes. Um, I'll read you the blurb. During the Second World War, the tank proved itself to be the most decisive weapon on the field of combat. Capable of lightning swift blitzkrieg strikes, they were counted on to punch a hole through any defensive line. Their awesome power changed the face of modern warfare forever. In World War II tank battles, you are the harbinger of doom for your enemies. You, your chosen tank will spearhead the assault, of dis the assault, destroying all enemies, enemy units and buildings and your bases in your path. Battles through historically accurate World War II campaigns from both Allied and German perspective. Combat zones include North Africa, the D-Day landings of Normandy, and the rich mountainous air, mountainous countryside of the Ardennes. Numerous tanks to choose from, including Panzers, Shermans, and the infamous super heavyweight German King Tiger. <laughs> Hugely varied missions, including seek and destroy enemy tanks, locate bases, protect ground assaults, and much, much more. Sounds like a pretty decent game. So what was the two out of, two and a half out of five stars reviews all about? Well, we can find out. Let's boot her up. And I'll be the Germans. Real key, because I've never played this game before. Sure. Well, that seemed fair, I guess. <coughs> That's a lot of noise coming from PlayStation. Just listen up, listen up. 
That's a lot of noise. You don't really, you really don't like that buddy, do you? Oh, here we go. Right. Okay. Oh! Okay, the controls are inverted. I don't like that. Mark targets, eh? Hey. Hey. Oh gosh, the sensitivity. Boom. Die. Boom. Oh. Okay, there we go. Where's the other one? There you are. Hello. Hello there. The sensitivity on this game is stupid. No, don't like it. No. Ew! Look, okay, okay. Just get a load of this. Look, moving forward. Move very slightly. It moves like... And look, it's inverted. So if I look up, it does that now. No, I don't, I don't like it one bit. State of world, keep the state of world of tanks. Right, mark targets. Where are they? Hey, what are you? Sniped! No. Okay, so the R1 button is fire. Oh, you can literally go, I, I can do a drift in this tank. Watch. There, drift. Hang on. Oh! No, can't aim. Can't aim. Hey. Hundred and twenty points. Yeah, I'd have I would probably got kicked out of the German army by now. Oh, I want to roll. Oh. I'll chase you down. If I can get be better at my aim. Oh. Oh. That is so annoying. And to be honest, I couldn't care less. This game is just absolute garbage, hot steaming trash. Now, what you just saw there was the epitome 
of bargain bin crap games. If PSM got their hands their grubby little mitts on this game, that's this is the sort of game that deserves a 1 out of 10 review. This has got horrible controls. The sensitivity in it is just going, but it's like butter. You go, you, you squeak a little bit of that controller, like, it goes. It is so unspeakably annoying, this game. Yes, it has a good premise, I can give it that. Yes, the gameplay without the horrible, disgusting, crappy controls is quite gripping. But it's the controls and the execution of the game that mess it all up. So, this just is the worst game. This is the worst game I review, I've reviewed so far. I mean, I've reviewed two minus games. One of them being a skiing cool borders ripoff. The other being a horrible bargain bin tank game. What, is, what more is there to say? Now, I think this game should get the slaughter. Yay! Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you shared my rage with me. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Share this to somebody who th you think might be interested in it. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye.